Welcome to another episode of the Micro Movie Review. I am your host, Ricky Valera. On today's episode, I'm going to review the upcoming film, Godzilla vs. Kong. The epic next chapter in the cinematic monsterverse pits two of the greatest icons in motion picture history against one another. The fearsome Godzilla taking on the mighty Kong with humanity caught in the balance. The film is directed by Adam Wingard, starring Alex Skarsgård, Millie Bobby Brown, Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry, Kyle Chandler, and many more. I had the opportunity of screening this early. Not in the confines of my house, but inside the IMAX theater. And what better way to step back in that movie theater for the first time than to see these two behemoths go head to head. But not only that, Alex Wingard did what the rest of these films hadn't. They made the focal point of this film, Godzilla vs. Kong. They battle it out several times. Several times. They don't water us down with a story that is just about the humans. Nobody cares about the humans. They care about Kong. They care about Godzilla. They care about them going head to head and battling it out. And that's what they did. Let me talk about the story for just a second. Brian Tyree Henry was an amazing addition to this cast. He's funny. Provides that comedy relief that you kind of seek in action-packed films. You know, they don't focus on these humans. They focus on the action. But the story that they have intertwined with Brian Tyree Henry is amazing. And then his chemistry with Millie Bobby Brown, great. I love the two of them together. The rest of the cast. I will say Kaylee Hoddle, she plays the little girl in this film. Amazing. Loved her. And for the rest of the cast, from Skarsgård to Hall to Ogoru to Reddick to Chandler to Bircher, all great. Folks, this movie demands to be seen on the biggest screen that you can find. I will prefix by saying if you feel comfortable, you feel safe, see this in IMAX. See it in Dolby. See it on the biggest screen in the world. But Godzilla vs. Kong, my overall thoughts, action-packed. Fun, loud, brilliantly done. I think this is one of the best action films that we have had in the last couple of years. I give the film four out of five stars and highly recommend checking this out on the biggest screen possible March 31st. It also drops on HBO Max as well on March 31st.